Hello, welcome to Flory Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on April the 1st, 2016, and the end of a week, which I would say I've been really busy, but let's face it, I haven't. Uh, with Easter and everything else, it absolutely just throws you. I must admit, I'm feeling 100% better. In fact, I'm feeling 200% better than I have been. A uh, little bit weight on the chest, everything else like that. When I get coughing, don't tend to stop. Uh, but generally, I must admit, I have to say uh, thank you to everybody for your kind well wishes and support and everything else like that. And yes, you're probably right, I do overdo it. No, honestly, I love my job. That's the point to this. Don't give me too much sympathy like that because I am a martyr for this stuff. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. I love every minute of what I do. And if I wasn't doing this to camera and, you know, obviously with the companies and everything else like that, I'd still do it anyway. So at the end of the day, it is sort of my own little thing. Uh, from my point of view, today, I haven't been filming because the trouble is, every now and again I get a cough, and when I start, I don't stop. It's like 10 minutes of me just coughing, and if you've ever had one of these lung infections, you'll know that you can cough and cough as much as you like. Nothing is going to come out, okay? So you just like turn into some wheezy 100-a-day smoker, um, and that's how it feels. Uh, but generally, I must admit, get a bit of a spell, and I'm good to go, and we'll be all fine. And by next week, I'll be totally back to normal, uh, and hopefully we can then push on, get going with the builds and everything else like that. So, as you can see down here, get rid of the old signal loss. There we go. We can see we've actually got, sorry, we've got some reverb on the camera above for some reason. Uh, but there we go. We've got the masking system all done. Sorry, I just need to pop into my settings on here, I think. And uh, yeah, sorry, we've got a bit of feedback on that one. Not sure why this is. This is all live. But as you can see, we have the masking work all done on the bomber. Now there's top turret at the back is what I wanted to show you, because quite frankly, as you can see, it doesn't look right. Uh, it doesn't look like the real thing. I have to get rid of that because it's driving me mad. Uh, but generally, this top turret at the top here, it's too high, it's out of position and everything else like that, yet that's how the instructions would have it. So what we're gonna have to do is, at the moment, it's all a loose fit, is cut this off, reseat this entire glass piece and actually put it down onto it. <coughs> Okay, and we'll make our way through. But generally, I've done all the masking work on this. I have been using the set. A uh, little bit annoyed because this set is not for this aircraft. Well, it is. It's for the later version. So why don't you get both versions in here, Red Art? This is a bit annoying. And also things like down here at the top, you have the glass at the top of the front of the actual combing so the pilot can sort of look diagonally down. Um, you don't get a mask on that either. What, do you think that was just part of the actual surface uh, and the way you go? So generally, it needs to have that sorted out and fitted and everything else like that. Um, to be honest, the glass work on the front isn't the best fit in the world. It took a little bit of flapping around with and getting all that in. And obviously, glass on glass, you're trying to do it without any glue marks and all the rest of it. But generally, taking my time, looking at references as well. And references are absolutely critical for this particular bill. Because just generally following what they would say sometimes isn't the best idea. So what actually we've been doing on this one, looking at some nice reference shots, working out, you know, the turrets, how the glass works. Sometimes it's like laminates, it's like double bits of plexiglass together that have been bolted. So it's not a solid, it's still a clear and things like that. So it's working out how that's going to look and be in scale at the same time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm doing the turrets and everything as is. They'll all be painted at the same time as we make our way through this build. But what I might do then, come back afterwards, remove them to a little bit more detail work to them, perhaps come in there with some aluminium um, foil uh, and do some little works with that and things like that because I think that will really look well. I intend to give this a very war-torn look, shall we say. You know what I'm like when I'm building. I don't do things by half. So this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very faded paint system all over this one, heavily weathered on the black underneath as well to make it look like it's you know been seen a lot of work. Um, I'm going to intend to give it some real streaking over the engines. This aircraft, when you look at reference photos, they look very dirty all that whiteness coming out from the lead from the engines and things like that uh, streaking down the back mixed in with some oil things like that so we're going to do those types of techniques and generally make this thing look a war veteran shall we say it's going to look like it's had a hard life uh, and everything else like that so generally though coming together very happy the wings they fitted like an absolute dream the tailplanes going on went on no problem at all and to be honest the glass work all fits very well once you get it all lined up my biggest problem is is the turret at the moment we don't have the gun system put in there because it won't fit in with the gun system at all um, the tail uh, turret as well same thing fits beautifully without the guns put the guns in it doesn't fit top turret I've got to work with I 
can see me getting a hacksaw out and just chopping that out and putting this in because this just sits too high too proud it's like a big zit on the top of the aircraft okay so we need to chop that down get it down more flush more profile looking at references of the real thing obviously the later one had a different turret has the flat turret totally different animal this is the actual the more the ball type on the top okay so we need to really sort that one out and get that one fixed in and everything else but following the instructions is just horrible but i remember the lancaster has the same problem as well if you get the turret sits wrong uh, it just doesn't look right this is very similar to that one so anyway that is technically now all ready for primer i know we've primed one wing as we've got going with it but that is all ready for primer so that will make its way over there and on tuesday uh, we'll speak about monday in a moment but tuesday we're going to get that primed painted and we're going to start to work our way through that entire build At the same time the dreamliner hasn't made any more progress apart from being white and now very dusty okay so this will actually get a polish and then what it will do is get another clear coat just to lock it down and then we're going to get going on the painting on that on probably wednesday uh, and we'll make our way through with that one so we get them nicely polished up ready to go through obviously the dreamliner is going to have a gloss coat and be very nice and shiny at the end of it but i intend to still give it panel lines weathering and a little bit of texture as well because let's face it they're never spotless okay but if you want to know weathering then obviously keep an eye on the actual uh, bomber because that is going to have absolute tons of it down in there uh, just have to mention flow on the go is currently in Colorado with Hans. Uh, I've had loads of people this week have asked about where it's gone. To be honest, for some reason, it took a long time to get over there. Uh, it took two weeks. I don't know why. Uh, but there we go. She is over there now, currently with Hans, and then Hans is going to be doing a couple of things with her. He's meeting up with some of the guys. I know some of you guys who know Hans um, and obviously go to Copar Hobbies, things like that. I know Flo is going to make her way down there, and we're going to get some photos. I have got coming a giant map. Okay, then the idea is, is obviously we're going to have this map, and I'm going to have Flo on a pin board, and we're going to work out mileage, and then and put up photos and everything else probably going to be on a Friday uh, and we can work out exactly where we're going to go we're going to sort out the donations page and everything else like that as well that'll be sorted out next week uh, and obviously you can make a donation to snap because this is what it's all about at the end of the day it's for the kids uh, and things like that and yes I am away with them this year later on in July it's only just been sorted out I've had lots of troubles because obviously with the recent problems in North Africa things like that have made travel extremely difficult especially with the kids uh, but we are taking them away this year and we'll be away I think it's mid-July we go um, so plenty to look forward to with that one but we'll talk about more of that as we make our way through uh, we had the Easter egg extravaganza thank you guys you did an amazing job on this one um, and basically you've come up with some great builds as always we've done scratch building as well as obviously the standard sort of Hasegawa egg planes you guys never fail on this one okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave you today with some of your great work from that fantastic build now we'll be uploading it as a standalone as well so you can watch it at the same time as watching this one so here's a quick look of what you did
Well done, everybody. That's some great work there, as always. It's always just a little bit of fun. It's nice. I think it sets the year off quite nicely as well. Can have a little bit of a laugh, a little bit of a giggle. And I must admit, one year I'll get around to doing one again. Did one about three, four, oh no, four or five years ago now. I haven't got around to doing another one yet. Yeah, I've got them all. That's the whole point of this. I've got the kits, just never the time to do it. Right, that is about it for me this week. Thank you very much for sticking by me this week. I know we've been a little bit all over the place and say next week normal service resumes. Apart from I'm not here Monday. Uh, the reason is I'm over at Bovington Tank Museum doing a little bit of filming work over there. I'm um, doing a little bit of work with the Rotary Club, things like that. So unfortunately I'm not here Monday, but what I might do is a little bit of a live blog when I get back. Uh, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to take obviously my big camera uh, and I'm going to take loads of footage. Okay, so we're going to do some reference work. I've got a couple of up building builds, as a lot of you know, uh, this year involving armor so I'm going to be doing a lot of reference work for myself uh, and I know a few of you want to see some bits from Fury and uh, the Panther things like that as well so obviously what I'm going to do is I'll get the camera out get going loads of reference shots things like that we'll montage it into something uh, of a little bit of a look around uh, Bombington Tank Museum so there we go that's it from me thank you very much for sticking by me this week and everything else and I'll catch you all next week